what's up? I just thought of something interesting to talk about. This is uh, our main chiller, Carrier Evergreen, which is like a triple screw with a VFD on it. And uh, this is uses uh, water cooling for the cooling towers, uh, where some, you know, just use direct, you know, air, DXs. This is water cooling. So when you think about it, this actually is using cascaded cooling, which water is a refrigerant, out in the cooling towers. Okay, so out here you got cooling tower, a uh, series of them. This one the fan is off, this one the fan is running. Well, three of them have the fans running. It's a mild day here for September, early September. It's only like 96 to 98 degrees right now. So basically, uh, in a tower, there is a refrigeration process happening. As you uh, pull the air through the water, and there is a slight uh, pressure drop across the media, which you want, you want to lower the pressure a little bit, uh, water will evaporate into a gas, so there's a transition. Heat is then, uh, gained into that ox into the gas state as it you know and uh, heat is pulled out of the air and the remaining water so the water temperature will actually drop the water that remains it's not evaporated so in this case uh, the water is uh, running about 78 degrees on a day like today even though the air temperature out here is about been about 96 to 98 so this is one refrigeration process right here I'll go to the chiller to show you the temperature. We've got water coming from the chiller, over 80 degrees, evaporating in the... So we got two fans stopped right now. Pretty mild day, because it's uh, 96. And that water temperature is dropping down to 78 degrees. So, so we're not getting a 20 degree drop on the water out of the towers. We're getting... Uh, from 84, 85 down to 77. So that's like eight degrees drop, but almost 20, this is like 20 degrees to blow ambient. So the, the heated water that's coming out of here is being dropped down to 77. Doing a lot of work because that's a lot of water that's moving through there. And then in their turn, this refrigerant, which is R134A, is uh, pulling water from the building in at 51, 52 degrees and, and, and it's leaving the chiller at 45 degrees. So our set point for the water is about 45 degrees. So this is one stage of refrigeration where it's refrigerating the, the, the chilled water and then it's got condenser water that's being heated. And then the cooling tower is basically the other stage which is uh, cooling the water from 84 degrees down to 77. So in a way, a chiller like this is cascaded because water is a refrigerant and it's using water to cool the condenser.